still looking. A cat hit by a car. A witness calls police, and the responding officer pulls out his gun. It has a concerned resident asking questions in CBS 58, going to West Dallas Police for answers. Please welcome to the CBS 58 team, Josh Landon, who's live with the story that's new tonight. Josh. Michelle, good evening to you. We are live here at the intersection of Curtis Road and Fairview Avenue, where an officer arrived and found an injured cat on the roadway and shot it. Now, we must warn you, the images we're about to show you may be disturbing. I was in my car, and I could see them, and then it just, like an explosion, like a huge pop. It was loud. Carol Holman takes us back to Monday afternoon as she drove down this intersection and saw a cat run down by a car. Carol says she quickly turned around to help the injured animal and put this blanket on top of it before she called 911. But once the officer arrived, Carol says everything got intense and the officer had this to say. You don't call 911 for an animal. He said, we shoot animals like this. This is just for humans. Carol says once she got back to her car, the officer picked up the injured cat, took it over to the side of the road and shot it. Oh. I was devastated. I cried half the night. I couldn't sleep because I could just picture that and hear it. Tonight, we went to work to find out if the officer took the right course of action. According to the deputy chief, the officer called a supervisor and got permission to fire his gun. Is it humane to shoot a cat on the side of the road? Well, it, like I said, our policy does allow for that as part of a, uh, in order to uh, limit the animal's suffering. I think that somebody should find out who to contact when there is an injured animal. I mean, you wouldn't leave a human li lying there. Now, police say you are supposed to call them. When you see an injured animal on the roadway, an officer will come to the scene and decide whether to call DPW or Matic. Now, we should mention this incident is being looked at very closely to see if things can be done differently in the future. We are live in West Allis tonight. I'm Josh Landon for CBS 58 News. All right, thanks, Josh. Charges have now been filed against a former corrections officer here in Milwaukee County, accused of secretly videotaping his.